What is up and good morning. I'm walking down the street right now. Just uh, came back from the market as you could probably see, as you could probably tell anyway. Uh, walking right now home, we're gonna cook and then we're gonna go to Tzalapata, which is a very nice museum here in the city. And I'm gonna show you everything from that. Sadly enough though, I just broke my tripod and that's not very good because now at the museum I could really much use it. So I hope I can fix something at home, but I really lost one leg of my tripod. So now, I don't know, it's called a dual pod or something. Or just a selfie stick, too bad. So, I just love the market to be honest. Because you always get stuff from there of which you're pretty sure that it's not like treated with all kinds of poison. Well, sometimes it is, but we've got some antigua, we've got some lettuce, some... Uh, crap, you broke them again. I tell them every time not to break my prasa. Ah, oh, I hate that because it goes bad so fast like that. Don't look at the mess on the floor, by the way, because this is a toy for the cat. So uh, then we got some uh, some broccoli, cauliflower, and some black-eyed beans. No, not black-eyed peas, black-eyed beans. I really hate the fact that I broke my tripod just a second ago. It's not nice. It's really not nice. I hope to actually to keep this tripod way longer because it's such a cool thing to make like even though I'm shooting just with a simple phone it makes a lot of sense to have a little tripod because then you can put your phone like low down or make some nice shots and let's go wait for Ilona then we eat and now we're gonna go to the factory see you in one millisecond and just like that we warp into the car and we are going to Tzalapata um, we're gonna take you with us and we'll see what it's gonna be right yes, yes. <laughs> So right now we're at the, the brick factory, the roof tile and brick factory of Volos, of uh, Tzalapatas. It was a family here in Volos and we got a very nice little introduction at the beginning actually. And she told us like how to walk and the little beginning story. And I think if you want to go here, in my first opinion like this, you'll be amazed of what you see because it's very interesting already. And uh, the weather may be not that great today, but actually it is prettier this way, I think. Uh, of course, in summer, everything's better, but it looks pretty like this. It really does. It's very nice. Let's go inside.
Oh, wrong way. <laughs> so after all the soil was grinded, it would come in here. Holy, those windows are clean. I'm almost too scared to walk on top of it. I love it when a sign says that. <gasps> that is so cool. So you can see now how the you can see now how the soil was being brought up, being sifted through. Then it went into the little carts, and the carts would go up and down and all the time. I actually wonder if it like turns around yeah, as well. That's what I'm now I understand those plates as well. There are like these plates everywhere, but they are so the carts can like turn around on top of them. That is so cool. I'm really enjoying this place. It is, uh, like I said, it is not too sunny outside, and I actually think in this case it is very good. Oh, here you can see it. We're standing right here, by the way. So right now we're inside the right now we're inside the boiler house and actually the nice thing is that uh, I did not know this but the boilers are as you can see uh, from Saba and Steenbrugge and that's uh, a Belgium company actually. See it, it Roule Belgique. It's in uh, it's in French. So the Greeks and the French have been doing business for a very good long time. There are some nice explanations on the big ass wall here as well. So far I have to say also that this is very impressive again. Uh, we just walk around and by the way the people that work here are super friendly, they're very cool. They, uh, they're, they speak English, so if you're not from Greece and you don't speak Greek they can explain you perfectly well in English. And I like the fact also that there's uh, all the signs are written in Greek and English. <laughs> So right now this is not as visible on my camera as it is in real life, but we're right now inside the real oven. The other place was the place where they would dry, and this is where they would have uh, uh, 
a lot of heat, a lot of heat. You can see this like is amazing. you can see the stacks of the roof tiles on the side. What we right now just see here is uh, inside the oven still, and you can see inside the oven here that the rocks. The bricks on the wall here are actually boiled. They look like they're boiled. See, these are like the normal kind of rocks. Oh my God, this has been so hot in here. And by the way, it's getting hot in here. Now it gets a totally different meaning, meaning than what Nelly meant in the beginning. So Ilona, yes. what did you think about it? I loved it. You loved it? Yes, it was very beautiful. I like it a lot as well. It is very pretty. Of course, it is uh, something that you... It's a little hidden gem. Probably it is written all over tourist information and everything, but it's not the first thing you would go to. And it, actually, not me, for example. I wouldn't go here in the first place, but now that I've been here, I've been very glad I've been here, and I would really, really, really recommend it... Blah, blah, blah. I would really, really recommend it to everybody, so... I'm actually flabbergasted by it all. It's really beautiful and the colors and the history and everything. It's so nice. And the most interesting thing is actually that it's so close to today. The day that they build and everything. It's very close. Yeah, yeah it, it looks like it's ancient almost somehow. But it's technology that, that started in like uh, other European countries way faster. But in Greece they were very late with like the factory era, right? The industrial area, uh, era, era. They were way late with the industrial area. They were way with the industrial era. They were way later here in Greece than they were in other countries. Mm -hmm. But uh, definitely recommending, definitely. So we found out today that Volos was the first city in Greece that started up with uh, industrial and uh, factories. See, some stuff about Volos you did not know, and you will definitely learn when you get here. It's yes. very cool. Was Perry Manis? And just like that, we're back home and everything, so cookies. Again, I'm baking cookies. And why? Well, actually, just because I like them way more than most of the cookies from the store. I mean, it's so easy to just to go to the store and uh, grab a pack of cookies. Uh, they are, of course, tasty, most of them. But somehow, I don't know, I like the ones that uh, I make here. And I think, so does Ilona, right? Yeah. Yeah, so... When I have some left next day. <laughs> I like to have them for breakfast. Ilona likes to have them. Especially in the evening and in the afternoon, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, with the coffee. I can have them whenever. Today I had a very nice, uh, today I had a very nice time at Salapata, to be honest. Uh, I really think it was a very nice place to go if you're even, even if you're, you live in Volos, or even if you're just here on holidays or whatever, it is definitely recommendable to come by. If you live in Athens or Thessaloniki, even just for this uh, thing, you can come by. As for now, Tomorrow we don't have any plans, so tomorrow is going to be one big surprise for me as well. Uh, for now, I think it's uh, time to chill on the couch again. It is evening. If you like this video, give this video a like. If you want to see more of these videos, please push the subscribe button on the bottom. 
Uh, it would definitely help me if you also share this video or other videos or whatever video you liked. I don't care. As long as you share it because it helps me. If you like to help me anyway. Uh, thanks for watching and I see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.